So let's see how you can easily draw this memory aid to have it available when you take your knowledge test. First, draw two horizontal lines for 18,000 feet and 10,000 feet MSL. Then, from the bottom line, split the chart in half with a vertical line and label the left side controlled and the right side uncontrolled. Towards the bottom of the right side, draw another horizontal line and label it 1,200 feet AGL. Now, Draw a cloud in each of the four areas. Next, we'll put the distances around each cloud and the visibilities. Between the 10,000 and 18,000 foot lines, it's 1,000 feet below, 1,000 feet above, and one statute mile horizontally from the cloud with five miles, uh, statute miles in flight visibility. So think, five one 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 five miles visibility and three ones for your required cloud distance one thousand feet below one thousand feet above and one mile horizontally for the cloud in the controlled airspace it's 500 feet below, 1,000 feet above, and 2,000 feet horizontally from the cloud. Just keep doubling those distances with three statute miles in flight visibility. Think three Cessna 152s, three miles visibility, 1,000 feet above, 500 feet below, 2,000 feet horizontally. In the uncontrolled airspace side, between 1,200 feet AGL and 10,000 feet MSL, it's again 500 feet below, 1,000 feet above, and 2,000 feet horizontally. But now the visibility is only one mile. So think one Cessna 152, one mile visibility, 1,000 feet above, 500 feet below, and 2,000 feet horizontally. At and below 1,200 feet AGL, the requirement is one statute mile in flight visibility, just like higher, but now it's just clear of clouds. At night, there's no longer a distinction between being above or below 1,200 feet AGL. In fact, there's no longer a distinction between uncontrolled and controlled airspace. At night, the rules in uncontrolled airspace are the same as the rules in controlled airspace. Three miles visibility, 1,000 feet above, 500 feet below, and 2,000 feet horizontally. Again, that's our three Cessna 152s. Now remember, there are two exceptions. The first is that in uncontrolled airspace at night, if you're doing pattern work within a half mile of an airport, all you need is one statute mile visibility and clear of clouds. The second exception is that in class Bravo airspace, the requirement is three miles visibility, three statute miles, and clear of clouds. So now you know how to easily draw your memory aid to make the weather minimums questions on the test really simple.